Guys, welcome to Overall EDC, and today we got a World War One German bayonet. So, this thing here, I wrote a couple things down because there's some things it's harder to say. So this thing, I guess it's called the Ger Gerkop Work AG Beal Field bayonet. And so this thing went on the Mazer Ga Eight. If you got, if you guys can read my writing. The Mazer Ga 8 and the Car 98 rifles. That's what this bayonet went on to. So this thing is about 19 inches, 19 and a half inches. Uh, on here, we got a broken uh, tip. So if you cut that down like that, um, it's about 19 inches. With the actual tip, it's about 19 and a half. Uh, it has this nice big steel blade. And a nice wooden handle with some grooves. Pretty cool. Uh, has a steel guard, steel pommel. Pretty good. So the nickname for this bayonet is called the Butcher Bayonet or Butcher Blade. You know why it's called that? Because of this big heavy blade. And it's uh, made to be heavier to do um, some, some more power to the business end. And it's a big bayonet so if you guys didn't know when they started making some bayonets they started off big 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 and then they started going smaller so this what this one was uh, they introduced this in world war one I. I think this was made about 1917 so it this is a big bayonet so like here this is a 1879 french gras Bayonet, this thing is huge compared to that. You see, as it gets smaller, then we got a World War II bayonet. This thing is even smaller. So as you guys can see, so over the couple, like over the century, I guess you'd say, they get smaller. So, but this thing, it is awesome. Stay tuned for these other videos too. But this thing, freaking cool nice thick blade stock man ergos still feels really really good and so there's a couple names for this thing i had to write it down i can't remember everything i'm sorry uh so it'd be called uh 1898 slash 05 or the butcher blade that's uh kind of the nickname this word here i don't know how to pronounce i'm not german so S E I T E N G E W E H R 98. That's, I guess, another, that's what they call it. It is a little rusted, but I mean, it's just plain steel, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, uh, I haven't heard of the exact steel, but they had other versions where it's a sawback. That's where you can find the Durkop, uh, Work AG Beal Field. It's a long name. I don't want to know how this felt carrying this everywhere i mean this is a big heavy bayonet so this would add some extra weight to all the other stuff they had on them i don't know how much stuff they got let's talk about the edge real quick so this here you can you can kind of see it's kind of rounded off um so i've been kind of sharpening and i've watched them sharpening so the thinner edges t can tend to chip more often but they they can be really slicey. But then if you go for a thicker edge, it 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 won't be as slicey, but it won't chip as much. So you have to kind of think, what is this made for? This it's not meant to be slicey. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not gonna go farther into that, but uh, yeah. So this is all steel. I'm pretty sure. Besides the wooden handle here, overall, just a freaking awesome bayonet i think that's all i got for you guys today thank you guys all for watching make sure you like and subscribe share this with your friends uh those last two bayonets i got stay tuned for some videos over those i'm gonna be making uh, a couple of videos over my old knives the this is just one of my cool old, old ones but yeah that's all i got for you, you guys today i hope to see you guys on my next video so i'll see you guys later